I want to welcome the GMs and the wives, the godly men and the warm, inviting, feminine, empathetic women out there. This video belongs to the rare men and women out there that are actually putting in the work for self-improvement, for self-awareness, and that are not milking themselves in self-pity or doubt or confusion, or at least attempting to actually get to the place in which in your life, you don't need to do those things. So many times in life, we're caught off guard in the things that are happening or just life in general can give you a spinning back kick to the stomach in a way that you might not never really expect or might not really anticipate on having that kick come to you. But man, when that spinning kick comes to you, if anybody's been in martial arts, they understand that that spinning back kick can be a powerful kick. And life has been giving a lot of spinning back kicks for a lot of different kinds of people recently. This has been kind of a theme that seems to be surfacing over the collective conscious of this society that we are in. And it's hitting hardest to the ones that are actually trying to move beyond that which they know is not good for them. And let's be clear, if you're someone that doesn't understand that life is a fight, that you are not going to be able to just accept doing things that everybody else is doing and be okay in the end, you know, this is something that I've learned recently. It's like, Many people give up on themselves way too early and many people really can't get past their own self limitations because of the way that they were raised or what other people think that they're, they're afraid of that. They're afraid of actually failing. And it's, it's hard to watch sometimes, but at the same time, it's like, those are the kinds of people that I do not want to be around. And I don't recommend you be around those kinds of people either. And for any of the women that may be watching this video, you're not going to find fulfillment in that career. It's just a fact. I'm not saying that you can't be ambitious. I'm not saying that you can't want to, to have an income for yourself and be okay by yourself. That's not what I'm saying. But if you think you're, you're going to find fulfillment in your career, I haven't met a single woman that has actually said that, yeah, my career fulfills me and she's actually happy on the other side. And even the women that claim to do so, like you look at their, their husbands or you look at their family and they're not there. They're not with their family. They're not with their husband. They don't, a lot of them don't even like their husband. And to all of the men out there that think that you're going to be able to just watch the world burn because we are just too far gone. Step aside, move, move somewhere else. If you really think that that's the case, then go somewhere else because I refuse to give up. I refuse to not believe in the creation that humanity can possibly bring to this world and the kind of goodness, truth, and beauty that surrounds us all. Godly men and godly people in general are not immune to the existential awe of life in so many ways that other people think that we're just too rigid or we're, we're, we're our beliefs are just too, too much or too little for some others. And it's hard to fathom sometimes the relationship that I have to the creator and the most high to myself, even because I'm amazed at my relationship to God myself. I was not a person that thought that I would be making it this far in life. I, I was not a person that thought that I would be able to make it out of where I really was at one point in time. All I knew was that if this is my really one chance at life to experience life in its totality, then I'm not just going to lie down and let people 
tell me how to live my life. Because at that point, I'm not living my life. I'm living somebody else's. I'm living for somebody else's dream, actually. This is one of the reasons I don't understand why so many people out there are not trying to get somewhere else or at least attempting to fail. Like you don't even have to succeed to, to actually succeed. <laughs> like you don't have to succeed to succeed all the time. Success is not really something that is definable by anyone particularly. It's more of a recipe than it is anything else. And there are going to be times when you're not making those goals or you're not making those challenges or you're having a really hard time getting the heart to get fighting back into the fight of life. Because after you feel a, sp a spinning back kick to your stomach, metaphorically speaking, it can be hard to want to get up. It can be hard to want to continue on. It can be hard to have faith that something better is on the other side. And there was a point in my life where I never thought I would be healed. I never thought I would be even in the position that I am now to just live a life where I can actually have peace somewhere. Whenever I go out and about around my community or do other places around the world, if I'm traveling, I know that I need to be prepared. And even though I know that anything can happen at any moment, at this moment in time, I can be at peace with myself. I can literally sit in a room in silence and enjoy my thoughts and enjoy my sense of self and enjoy my presence. I really don't feel like I'm ever truly alone anymore. Like I know I'm alone when I'm in solitude, but I know that God's presence is with me and God doesn't always need to be speaking for, for me to hear him really, if that makes sense. This is something that so many people are never going to be able to experience. And it makes me sad to think that, but at the same time, People have to wake up and people are waking up. People are realizing what's really there and what there is actually here and what's here is actually there. We're all part of the same totality of life and reverence for life. We're all sharing this common life and you've got to make sure that you're not giving up on yourself. Because if you're giving up on yourself, what kind of example is that setting for the future generations? Do you know what I was told growing up? Don't have dreams. Oh, you can't do that. There's no way you'll be able to do that. Oh, well, you weren't quite perfect on that, you know, on this run or that run, or you weren't quite good there. You weren't quite good. there. I had nothing but criticisms growing up. And it made me a perfectionist in many different ways because I believed at one point in time I had to be a perfectionist, like a perfectionist itself in order to get love, in order to receive love. And I'm here to tell you that you do not need anything as far as validation from other people in order to feel love. You don't need to earn love. You need to choose it. Now, respect, on the other hand, is another situation and trust is another situation. Trust and respect is created. Love is something that you just have to choose. That's it. It's just a choice. And a lot of the times when you choose love and when you choose peace above all other options, many people don't understand that because many people don't know what it's like to have peace in their lives. Many people don't understand what it's like to actually value their word. Do you know what your word is really worth? If you say something is going to get done or something is going to happen, do you actually make it happen or are you lying? This is something that you need to really think about because if you're telling you're speaking something into existence and it doesn't happen, guess what? You are 
creating a thought algorithm in which you're saying to yourself and the universe that you're going to lie and you're not actually going to do the things that you're going to say that you're going to do. Therefore, you're not actually going to attain the things that you want to attain. This is why vision is so important. If you don't have a vision and you don't have a plan of action, I mean, you might as well, you might as well just continue doing what you're doing. This life is about so much more than clocking in, clocking out, going here, going there. There's a depth to life that is not found in the depths of self-fulfilling prophecies of sorrow. And there's a depth of life that is not found or created by creating a scarecrow in your mind and having the victim mentality of woe is me. Who the fuck wants to be around those kinds of people? Golly, it's so annoying. And to all the people that are faking their image, it's just, it's, it's almost worse. Like I would almost rather have a, someone that is a woe is me than a fake happy person. Now there's a difference between attitude and having the right attitude because you can have the right attitude. Look, things can be going really shitty for you. You can be in a terrible situation, but you have to be focused on the solution. You can understand that there's a problem. You can understand that I don't need to feel sorry for myself right now. What I need is a solution. What I need is a way out and I'm going to create that way. Come hell or high water. This is the mindset that you, that you really need to have if you're going to get to any place that you want to be. And to all of the people that actually understand the depths of this video, to you I salute. You have my respect. You have my understanding. I appreciate people like you. But to all of those, and guess what? You can dislike this video. You can like this video. I don't really care. Because I know at the end of the day that the people that actually put in the work are going to be revealed. The people that actually want to work on themselves and create a life and a legacy for themselves those people will be revealed. Everybody else is just an NPC for all intents and purposes, as far as I can tell. So really the choice is yours. And I hope this message was useful and inspiring to someone out there. And I hope you got some form of utility from it. And peace be with you. Till next time.